Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Harakakwadash. I would like to give a double honors to my apostles and elders, the great millstone that taught me this truth, and I would like to say a sincere shalom to the hopeful elect, the men that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine throughout the four winds of the world, risking their, li risking their lives and freedom to do so. To you, I say shalom. Because the title of this lesson is Come Out of Her, My People. This is in direct reference to Revelation 8, the 18th chapter. Okay, when it's talking about the chariots of the Most High, which is going to deliver the elect when America and other parts of the world are destroyed. All right, and in, and in this lesson, I have a um, article or, or a um, not an article, but a a new uh, a, a, a video of a um, uh, from uh, the news in Hawaii where um, it says, "Well, I'll read the title: FAA notified after a large blue UFO seen above Oahu appeared to drop into the ocean." and you know, to the uh, to the average average person that's you know ignorant to this truth, they think that you know it's a UFO or you know they they're they're puzzled of what it is. The men of the Lord, when we see that, we know that's a sign from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That's a sign from the Heavenly Father and His Son that He's coming back to uh that that you know He's coming back soon to redeem the elect. All right, to uh, take us out of this captivity. Okay, and and that it's actually a faith builder. Okay, we know that 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 the elect is that much closer to being sealed and being delivered all right so i'm uh, i'm gonna play this video and uh i'm gonna read a little bit of the article but the, the video really it, it explains everything all right it shows you the power of the heavenly father where esau in these last days that we're living esau is not going to have any they don't have answers for this now all right all right let alone when these chariots make themselves visible to where, where everyone sees them all right where, where they, they can't put everything under the sweep everything under the rug and say it's a conspiracy or some area 51 uh, uh bs all right this a hey, this is this is real life th you know this is real life um uh, uh, uh you know chariots that are sh showing themselves okay and in and, and um we're at the beginning of a new year and last year you had, you know, so many chariot sightings, you know, all across the world where, where they're being recorded, where the government can't, you know, they, they can't say it was a, a, a weather balloon or it was, you know, the military doing some type of drill. People are going to know and people are going to want answers. And the ones that have those answers are, are the men of the Lord. All right. So let me, um, let me play this video real quick. In the sky. What is that? And it's not just fireworks lighting up the sky in West Oahu. Perplexed residents on the Leeward Coast are searching for answers after a lit up, unidentified flying object reportedly in plunged the in the into the ocean near. And the chariots come in all forms, shapes, and sizes, okay? And in this one, it went straight down to the ocean, all right? And, and you know, the average idiot out there is going to think, oh, the, the uh, a chariot, you know, it, it can, it, it can, uh, uh, um, you know, it, it can, you know, run out of gas or man, the chariots do what they want. They can go in the ocean. They can uh, come out of the ocean. They can go up to the, to the, to the heavens. They could do, they could do anything. All right. The, 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 um, the, um, what is it? The, uh, uh, what's the word? The possibilities, the possibilities, the, what the chariots can do is, is limitless. Okay. Let me play a little bit more. Ulehava Beach Park. Though there are multiple videos of what appears to be a glowing oblong mass, both in the sky and in the water, Honolulu police notified aviation officials about the bizarre sighting. But as our Allison Blair reports, it remains a mystery. Officials from the Federal Aviation Administration say there were no aircraft incidents or accidents in this area Tuesday night, but multiple witnesses report seeing a large blue object fall out of the sky and into the ocean. Something is in the sky. What is that? This video was taken by Missy Tina Sape at 826 Tuesday. Yeah. The 38 year old says she's never really been a believer in UFOs, but the bright blue object had them so intrigued they jumped in the car and started following it. And they, they said there's a lot of people that don't believe, okay? And when you see the power of the Lord, it's going to convert, uh, it's really going to convert a lot of the elect, the one third of Israel and, and, and the 144,000, okay? There's a lot of people that the scriptures say, in the day of thy power, um, in the day of thy power, that people shall be willing. Okay, so when you start to see these, you, you there's these chariot sightings. You start to see uh, people being healed by the uh, by the apostles and the prophets. Okay, people are going to believe. People are going to fall. You know, come into this truth. They're going to, uh, uh, um, you know, they're going to be quickened with the spirit. Okay. The journey said, ended less was, than three miles. This one was going so fast. The the, the like I said, the, the possibility of these chariots are limitless. All right.
They they can go faster than the the, the speed of uh, uh uh the speed of light, okay? And, and they can slow down and they, like like for instance, the this chariot right here is just showing itself. All right, it, it's showing itself for 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 this truth to come out. All right. Lucky. Where it began on Farrington Highway in front of the Board of Water Supply building after the object appeared to drop into the ocean. On a f***ing line in the water, whatever it is. She described it as being larger than a telephone pole and says she never heard it make any sound. <laughs> you never heard it make a sound. It's, 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 like I said, the, the chariots of the Most High are, are man, amazing. Okay, and, and the closer and closer we get to the end, you're going to see the more chariot sightings. You're going to see uh, uh, the power of the Lord be manifest, uh, you know, in this world. Okay, um, let me I'm gonna read a little bit of the article. It's really one point I wanted to read um, about that with about the end where the FAA basically said that that um, that they didn't really they don't know what the hell is going on. They, they have no they have no answers to what the hell is going on. All right, says, uh, while officers were on the scene, Mariah said, says that they spotted a second light. My husband went and looked up and seen the white one coming. She said the white one was smaller, was coming in the same direction as the blue one. They lost sight of the object after it passed over, over, over a nearby mountain. Thursday morning, we asked Honolulu police if investigators figured out what, the, what fell in the water. A spokesperson told us, they didn't have any information. Meanwhile, FAA spokesman Ian Greger said the agency received a report from police Tuesday night about a possible plane down in the area, but had no aircraft disappear. Like it, but had no aircraft disappear off radar. Hey, the chariots don't go on radar. All right, the chariots—they're not going to be found on ESOS radar. Okay, or, or, or the, the chariots can't be uh, detected. Okay, they—they they can't be. Uh, um, they can't. Uh, zero in on the chariots, okay, with, with any of your satellites, all right? If the chariots want to manifest themselves and show themselves, they will, okay? But, hey, the, 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 like I said, the chariots are limitless of what the possibilities of what they can do, all right? It says, and no reports of overdue or missing aircraft, all right? It's, not, it's like I said, it's not going to show up on your, um, show up on your, on your radars. Although Mariah's had a couple of days to think about it, she said she still baffled at what she saw, and to this to to this day, I don't know. She said, laughing. If you guys can find out what it is, I like. I remember she said, I would like to know. You know, so like I said, let me see. So you get the point, man. That the, the chariots of the Most High are showing themselves, and, and the Lord is about to make His return to this earth. All right. So let me hop right into the scriptures. Let me get the the main scripture that I um, posted on this lesson. This is this is talking about the destruction of Babylon, destruction of America. All right, and how the elect is going to be delivered. All right, the elect is going to be scarcely delivered. So as soon as those missiles are shot from those other countries, all right, uh, uh, the chair, once they hit, that the elect is going to be beamed up. Okay, this is the book of Revelation, chapter eighteen and verse four. I heard another voice from heaven saying, "Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins and receive not of her plagues." And the main plague is those. Um, those, those, those. Uh, that's going to hit this place is those ICBM missiles, that thermonuclear fire that's going to destroy America. All right, it's going to leave this place desolate. And it says, "Come out of her, my people." All right, that you be, be be not partakers of her sins. So and that's literally talking about coming out of America through those uh, through those chariots. All right, the chariots have multiple use. All right, but the main two uses that it's going to be uh, used for is delivering the elect. All right, and destroying. Uh, Esau's infrastructure, Esau's system, Esau's uh, uh, um, armies. Okay, it, 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 two things to destroy and to really to rescue. All right, to, to to redeem, to save. All right, those are the the that's the duality of the chariots. All right, the chariots have other many other um, many other uses. Okay, but in these last days, that's what the chariots are coming to do. All right, the chariots is not coming to save everyone. The chariots are coming to save Israelites. Or right, says, come out of her, my people. All right, this is talking to a specific people, only Israel. All right, uh, verse five, for her sins have reached unto heaven in the most high. Remember her iniquity. That's why this place has to be destroyed because the sins of America that Esau has done to, to the children of Israel has reached up to the heavens and this a, a Babylon, Babylon, America, Esau has to pay. Okay, um, let me grab this because this is how the heavenly father is coming back. All right, Yahweh, this is how Yahweh Shai is coming back. Just like how he went up, all right, how he was taken into a, a cloud, that's the same way that he's making his return. This is the book of Acts, chapter 1, and I'm going to start at verse 7. 
the point is actually in uh, 9. And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father hath put in his own power. All right, The Heavenly Father is the only one that knows when uh, the, uh, Yahweh Shai is coming back to uh, um, to redeem the elect All right, and take Esau out. And he said unto them, uh, Salaki, I read that, But ye shall receive powers after the Holy Spirit is come unto you. And ye shall and ye shall be a witness unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and in, up, up unto the uttermost parts of the earth. And when they had when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. All right, that cloud was talking about the chariot, which you ignorantly call UFOs. Or right, it received it received our Lord Yahweh Shai. Okay, and while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel all right those are angels which also said ye men of galilee why stand ye gazing into heaven this same yahweh shai which is taken up from you into heaven shall come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven all right so he's going to come back he's going to the same way that he went up that's the way he's coming back all right the heavenly the heavenly father or excuse me yahweh shai is coming back in style all right he's going to deliver the, the elect in, 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 a, in a glorious, wonderful uh, uh, um, uh, deliverance, okay? And you're going to see more, you're going to see more and more of these sightings, and you're going to think your mind is playing tricks on you, you're going to think you bugging out, but hey, it's, 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 it's the chariots of the Most High, it's the angels, and the angels control, are in control in those chariots, all right? And Yahweh Shai is coming back in the, in, in the, the super chariot, okay? Probably the size of, the size, it, well, it has to be the size of, of the whole earth if everyone's going to see him all right let me grab that in revelations one okay the, the, the heavenly excuse me yahweh shai is coming back in, in, a, in a in a in a mega cherry all right this is the book of revelations chapter um one and um verse seven behold he cometh with clouds all right clouds plural all right so it's not just going to be one cherry well it's going to be one big cherry but it's going to be thousands maybe millions of chariots that's going to fill the skies all right, behold, he cometh with clouds. This is talking about Yahweh Shai. And every eye shall see him. Every eye, every living soul, every living being is going to see Yahweh Shai when he makes his return. And they also which pierced him and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, amen. Okay, so hey, every every um, every um eye is going to see. And right here in Philippians, it says every knee shall bow. Okay, this is Philippians chapter uh, 2 and 10. That the name of Yahweh Shai, it's like, uh, I'll verse 39, wherefore the Most High also hath, hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. And that, that name of Yahweh Shai, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. Every knee is going to bow, all right? And that every tongue should confess that Yahweh Shai HaMashiach is Lord in the glory of the Most High, the Father. All right, every knee is going to bow in that day. All right, when you see them chariots, man, people's going to people's going to bug out. Okay, people are already bugging out. All right, and, and the thing about this, her, her seeing this um this light, this chariot in the form of a blue light and another one in a white light, they don't know what the hell it is. Okay, but the men of the Lord, we know what it is. We understand you know, that's the Howard Shy. That's the Howard Shy. That's the angels. Okay, they're they're coming delivering. You know that, and that and that's this is a this is a sign of the end time. This is a it's like I said, this is a faith booster. All right, we see this like, man, we, hey, it's go time, okay? It ain't time to be, you know, tippy-toeing and, and, and bullshitting around in this truth, okay? Yahweh Shai is on the watch, all right? Yahweh Shai and the angels are watching, okay? And, 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 the, and the closer and closer we get, the closer and closer those chariots are going to come, uh, 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 you know, closer to earth, all right? Let me see. Um, let me grab this, talking about the elect. All right, because the, the elect is going to be taken up in those chariots. Okay, the elect is going to be, like the scripture says, it's scarcely safe. All right, um, this is uh, 1 Thessalonians. That's Timothy. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, and I'm going to go to uh, start at verse 16. Um, let me see. Oh, yeah, I started at 16. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trump of the Most High, and the dead in Hamashiach shall rise first. It's talking about the men that died in the Lord, died in this truth. Then he which are alive 
and remain shall be caught up together with him in the clouds. All right. That, that's talking about the deliverance of, of the elect. OK, they're going to be caught up together. All right. Well, you know, in, in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. So just clearly showing you that it's something that's not on the ground. It's something in the air. All right. It said descend. All right. It's going to descend from the heavens. These chariots are going to descend from the heavens and, and beam up the elect. All right. And, and for the average person, you know, with this coming from the scriptures, this sounds far fetched. But those that are in the spirit, those that the most High have given eyes to see. All right. That they given eye salve that it opened up their eyes to this truth. They understand like, you know, they can everything. They, they can put everything together. Every precept that I'm bringing out, it, 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 it goes right along. All right. But it's not going. People are not going to believe. Until they see it, all right? Like this lady said, I, I I didn't believe in you UFOs, okay? But hey, she I bet she believed now, all right? And if she, you know, if she's an Israelite, you know, and if she knew what 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 that was, you know, that 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 would that should, you know, uh, it, it should it should build her faith, all right? But a lot of these people they're going to be in fear, all right? Mainly two thirds of Israel because they know that they they messed up, all right? And they know that you know some of them the, the some of them in their mind they think they're going to be delivered, but a lot of them know that. They have they ain't got no shot at salvation. All right, verse um I'll finish verse 10. Uh yeah, I'll finish, I'll read 17 again because I didn't finish the end. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore comfort one another with these words. Okay. So, so when you see these things, these to be things of comfort, okay. And you got to understand this devil, this devil has, this devil Esau has all the technology to see these things in 3D and in, 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 in where they have the telescopes and all kinds of satellites where they see the chariots. Okay. And, and, and for, for the longest, they've been quiet about them, but you know, they've been quiet saying it's, you know, it's this, it's a military operation, but pretty soon they, they, they're going to have, they're going to have their arms up like, Hey, oh, we don't know what it is. All right. They know what it is, but they're going to tell the people, they, they, they're going to say it's anything and everything, but a higher powers, anything and everything but the Lord. Okay. Let me see. Oh, let me grab this. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 68. Um, and this backs up uh where it says, um, uh, he cometh with uh, uh he cometh with clouds, all right, being meaning plural. All right, this is Psalm 68 and verse 17. The chariots of God are twenty thousand, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them as in Sinai in the holy place, okay? It's thousands upon 20,000, even thousands of angels, okay? So you're gonna, like I said, you're gonna see the, the, the scriptures say the sun is gonna be blotted out, all right? It's gonna be that one main chariot from that Yahweh Shai is in and all the angels in their chariots, okay? And, and the chariots, hey, these chariots, they're coming to, 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 you know, they're coming to take care of business, man. They're coming to, 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 to push forward, to pull, you know, it's gonna, coming forth to judge, all right, they not just coming just to you know uh, deliver the elect and just you know then roll out. No, they coming to you know f some things up. All right, this is the book of Isaiah chapter six, excuse me, sixty six and verse fifteen, and it says, "For behold, the Lord cometh with fire and with chariots like a whirlwind, whirlwind, to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire, rebuking. Okay, with with anger, with fury. Okay, that doesn't sound like he just you know delivering elect and you know." And jetting out to the heavens. No, he's coming with with with, with anger. All right, the the, the 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 day of vengeance is in the Lord's heart and our Lord Yahweh Shai's heart. All right, so he's coming back with anger and vengeance and fury. All right, it's a rebuke with flames of fire. Okay, for for by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, meaning judge. All right, with all flesh and and the slain of the Lord shall be many. So hey, those missiles are going to do uh, uh do damage, but those chariots are definitely are also going to do their share of the damage, okay, their, their share of the destruction, all right, let me see, um, yeah, Khan, that's all I really had, you know, I just want to bring out this article, because this is definitely a sign from Yahweh Hashem Shai, and this should boost brothers' faith, this is boost their spirits, and, and let them know that, hey, salvation is nigh, we better, you know, hey, you know, continue to push this truth, continue to build your faith, okay, because hey, we almost out of here, we almost home, all right, so, you know, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the elect, and I'd like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Hashem, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom.